wrong with him? He's not happy. Oh, of course he is. He's happy. Why doesn't he get married? Well, if he's happy, why should he get married? <laughs> oh, it's no use. I can't get these buttons fastened. They're just going to have to do as is. Don't be ridiculous. You look like five pounds of flour in a two-pound sack. The <laughs> royal tailor will just have to make you a new suit. But this suit is perfectly fine. Darling, no one is questioning the shape the suit is in. Mother, what is the meaning of this? Doesn't anyone in this house knock? Really? We were just talking about you. Your mother was talking. I was listening. And what were you doing out of this costume? Why wasn't I informed about this ball I'm supposedly giving? Oh, darn. You found out. It was supposed to be a surprise for your birthday. Well, surprise! It's three months until my birthday. And since when does a birthday party require the attendance of every eligible young maiden in the kingdom? Sure. You know, the royal preachers, they never get anything right. Mother, I want this ball called off immediately. But darling, you can't cancel once you've got the ball totally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can count me out. <gasps> Your Highness. Christopher, we are not trying to pressure you, son, but you do have certain obligations. What your father is trying to say is that it's time for you to find a bride and produce an heir. After all, someday soon all this kingdom will be yours. Well, not that soon. <laughs> I long to hear the pitter-patter of little feet on the marble again. All I'm asking is that I can find a bride for myself. In my own time, I have this crazy old-fashioned idea that I want to fall in love before I get married. You know, like you did. Well, that's what we want for you too, son. Of course it is, darling. 